Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to the channel. Recently I wrote an article that did quite well and I know that not everybody is about reading those articles. Plus I know that Medium can be quite a... Uh, well, let's not use swear words in the first 30 seconds of the video. So let's get right into the article. Now here we outlined some places that can help you practice your OSCP. Make sure that you take into consideration that this is at the time of writing. So I wrote this at February the 20th. There are also some Active Directory parts to the exam and all of that stuff, but we'll get more into that later. So first of all, you really need a strong foundation with operating systems. How do you get it? You get an old laptop, you install Linux on it. You play around with Windows until you break it and you try to repair it. It's really important to have your foundation set properly. You should be really comfortable with the Linux command line, really comfortable with things like network protocols such as TCP IP, DNS, HTTP. So go to any one of the free resources online and get some knowledge on that. If you don't have that kind of knowledge, there are plenty of free resources available online for you to practice. Now let's talk about developing that hacker mindset, shall we? Because of course OSCP is practical. This means that we're going to have to demonstrate what we're able to find and actually exploit that with a proof of concept and a report. So to do this properly, we need some practice. Vulnhub is one of the great places to practice that. And it's basically a website where you get virtual machines that you can hack. So you download, you run the VM, and then you hack it from your own network. Hack the Box, very similar, only it's a website that provides you with online resources as well. So you can try to hack these machines online and you can even get a subscription to access all of the machines. Try Hack Me, also a really good with a variety of rooms here, a variety of challenges that you can play. And we'll get more into which ones exactly later on. But there are free and paid options available if you want to get practiced more. So these common tools that we're talking about right here, um, this, uh, ooh, sorry about that. Well, now you see how much a viral article makes, $3.23 or 32 cents. Wow, Jesus, I'm rich. I can buy myself at least a wheel of cheese now. So to be an successful, successful in this OSCP exam, we're going to need to familiarize ourselves with some of these common hacking tools such as Metasploit, and map burp suite and you're in luck because there are a ton of free resources available starting with the manual the manual of these tools will really help you a lot there now something that a lot of people forget is to practice proper time management and documentation skills because it's a 24-hour exam with an active directory network to hack so you really need to be able to manage your time properly and document as you go. Practice that report writing part of it. I know it sucks, I know it's not fun, but it's very necessary. Now, Over the Wire is a place where you can actually practice a little bit for your OSCP. There you can, there's a variety of capture the flag like challenges where you can practice some of your skills. They start easy, they go stronger as you go. And it's a great resource for beginners to start hacking. Hack this site, that is where I started, believe it or not, way back in the day. And it's basically a vulnerable website with different challenges and different categories. Also varying levels of difficulty, of course. OWASP Juice Shop is an intentionally vulnerable web application which you can download and practice on. And it's really easy to run with the advent of Docker. Ponable.kr is a website that's going to provide you with a variety of challenges where you're going to be able to practice your hacking skills. And of course, the challenges are categorized again by difficulty level and cover a wide range of topics from binary exploitation to reverse engineering. Metasploitable is a VM that is designed to be vulnerable. So it's basically a way to practice your Metasploit skills, your Metasploit hacking. And this is where we come back to that tool section a little bit. It's really useful to get Metasploit under your belt, but don't rely on it too much because you can't use it for more than one machine. And again, really make sure that you're still even able to do that. Read through the rules properly. 
Pentester Lab, also a great awesome place for you to actually go and practice. Pentester Lab offers a variety of challenges. It's a website, you can just sign up, different challenges there, practicing for ranging anywhere from pen testing to exploitation. Again, also free and paid options available and with a wide range of topics from web security to network exploitation. Von, Solver, Von Server is a purposely vulnerable server, of course, that's going to, there you can practice basically your buffer overflow vulnerabilities. Now don't rely on that too much anymore because it's not even guaranteed you're going to find it, but still, if you get it, you need to be able to exploit it properly, so Von Server can help you with practicing there. Damn vulnerable web application, on the other hand, is a very easily segmented application, also ranging from easy to medium to hard challenges, where you can practice in your own safe environment locally hosted. You can also go to any of the online instances. Use some Google dorking if you want to find some. Here are some Try Hack Me rooms. I am going to put them in the description below. There are some free rooms and some paid rooms in there. Same is going to go for Hack the Box, although Hack the Box is going to use mostly older legacy machines there. And Pentester Lab, we're going to have some resources for you available as well. I'm even going to include some resources for time management and technical writing. And of course, there are many online communities, such as Reddit communities, which you can join to hopefully help you pass your exam. So that was it for this video. Pretty short, I know. Thank you very much for watching, though. If you want to get a link to the article, I'll copy a friend link to the description below so you can actually read it without restrictions. Thank you very much, my friends. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.